When you go to YouTube, whether in a desktop browser or on your phone, it presents a list of videos that are popular and that you might be interested in, especially if you watched a video about a similar subject or from a particular content creator. So you click on a tempting title and watch for a few seconds to see if you like it. Next thing you know, you've watched 17 videos and 49 shorts, and now you're running late for work. So fortunately, there's a way to get rid of some of that history or stop having to collect it at all. Uh, let's take a look. So you bring up your account and it has the normal uh, previews here and what you're looking at. Make sure you're in your account in case you have several. But you come over here to where it says history and you click on that. Now you'll see a very nicely laid out uh, history here of uh, the current stuff. And then below that, you'll see even more detailed of each and every one that you've had, including the red line that tells you uh, how much of that video you've watched. And if you scroll down this page, it keeps loading more and more. It's, it's an infinitely long list, as much back as uh, you have in your history. So let's manage that. So if we come over here, uh, again, we're at the history. So if you look in the top right hand corner, you'll see uh, your options. And the first two are pretty self-explanatory. The first one is to clear all your watch history. You can pause it recording it uh, on the second option. But what we want to do is manage uh, your history. So if you go to your first option, which is saving it, and you can go down here and you can do several things. First of all, you can just plain turn it off and it won't track you anymore. You can do that. You also have other settings that says uh, you can include your watches, your folders, and all that stuff. But what we really want to go to uh, is to set the auto delete here. And you can choose how many months you can do it. Uh, right now I have it on do not delete, but I can set it for 18 or three months besides the 36. Now, if you back on out of that and we go back to the main menu and everything, and we scroll, uh, you won't be able to tell if it's a 36 month or 18 even, but you might be able to scroll down to where you have the end of the three months if you set it for that. But you can even go back here and you can say, I want to do a custom range. So if I sit there and click on delete and there's today and all that stuff and delete all the time, but there's the custom range. Just click on that and you get a standard input box uh, where you can enter the start and date. So you might want to do it just the last month or something like that. So you can enter whatever date you want in there. So if you go back here to the history, you can actually delete individual ones. Just scroll down your list until you find the one you don't want. And you'll see that each one has a little X in the upper right hand corner. You simply click on it and it immediately gets deleted from your YouTube watch history. Now if you can do this for more than one. You can sit there and just go through it and find the one that you want to delete and just click on that individually. And you got a second or two before you can say cancel and it won't delete it. It'll still be there. So, but make sure you know before you go ahead and click on the X. So again, if you want to do it individually, uh, just do it like this. Otherwise, like I said earlier, you can clear the entire history. So beside your watch history, you can actually go down one more and go there to comments and click on that. And you can go in here and here's all the comments I've made on my channel, but you should be able to find comments you made in other channels as well and go ahead and go through that. And you should be able to go back and click on the other items and check them out as well and make whatever deletions you want to do there. Now, if you're mainly a mobile user, you can go on your mobile phone and you can do the same thing. In this particular one, I can make sure that you're in the account you want. I have multiple accounts. So I'm in my account and I can click right here next to the shorts or whatever and it says manage your watch history. Uh, but you can go up to the gear icon up top and there it is there, manage all of history. So if we click on that, again, make sure you're in the right account and you come in here. So just like on the desktop, we have several options here. You can do them right here in the mobile. Uh, you can set your parameters for uh, if you wanted to turn it off completely, uh, you can do it uh, which things you want saved. But again, just like a desktop, besides setting these parameters here uh, to manage it automatically, you can go to your history. And for this one, you just scroll down here and you'll see at the bottom, uh, you'll see Manage History, click on that, and then we'll go right to the exact same listing we had before where you can follow the same instructions. You scroll down and each one you want to delete and use the 
uh, delete function as we talked about before. Uh, or you can do a search here at the top and get a discrete list of a certain ones with certain titles. Uh, but if you click on it, it gives you a chance to uh, cancel it, but then you can just say delete, and there you go. And up top, you can click on that same uh, function there, which allows you to uh, do a date range if you want, and delete those over a certain date range. So there you have it, how to get rid of some of those uh, watch history items that you may not want anybody else to see, or you just don't want to be bothered with yourself. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.